Welcome, Pisces. Welcome, 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 my Pisces. Welcome, 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 my Pisces. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What's good, Pisces? I hope everything is going well, you guys, this way. I know we're still, a lot of us may be returning to work. Some of us are still stuck in quarantine. We make sure you guys are taking this time to love on your family and your friends, your ones close by. And, you know, just try to make the best out of this, this pandemic, guys. Work on some things that you've been wanting to work on. If you're very artsy, crafty, go ahead and start your businesses. Like, you know, let's let's not make this, you know, look all so bad, okay? Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. You do not want to miss out on the tea, baby. Because the tea, a lot of times, is really, really piping hot, right? All right, y'all. And as well, if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will be in the drop box below, okay? So this is going to be a general read, guys. Whatever applies, apply it. If it does not apply, let it fly, okay? You can check out it's, a, it's so many other YouTube readers. Guys, don't take it personal. Don't come in the comment section. Come in for me because I clap back, okay? All right, so let's do it. Let's get into some things. Let's see what messages we have for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's clear the energy because I did just do a few personal readings. Let's clear the energy here before we get this thing started. I need Pisces to have a good reading for, for May. I need my Pisces to have a good reading, okay? I think you guys' readings, I think you guys have been doing very well lately. Like the past readings that you guys have been getting. It's been on point. It looks like a lot of Pisces are, you know, getting they, getting their stuff together. And I think that is very dope, okay? I think that is dope, 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 dope. As a matter of fact, let me move that out the way. I'm not using the pendulum yet. All right, so let's do this. All right, so please give me a general read for my Pisces. What's coming towards my Pisces? What energy is coming towards Pisces for the month of May? All right, for the month of May. What's coming towards Pisces for the month of May? We got the temperance card that wanted to fly out. Okay, it's in the reverse. Okay, we got the eight of swords and the ten of swords. Wow. Oh. Whoa, Pisces. What is this? I'll show y'all the cards when I when I get everything out. Whoa. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm going to put all of these together because they came out together. Show me future energy. Oh, whoa, 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 Pisces. The Pisces has arrived. Because, baby, this energy is on fire. Okay. Right off the bat, some of you guys could be dealing, I'm going to point out the cards that I see here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? Got some swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? I'm just getting that you're done with something. Something is over. Okay, and I feel like you have, maybe you were afraid of this, but it's like once it was done and over with, you ran 
you you like ran off. It's like it's like it's over with. Okay, it's done. All right, pew. I want to see why the temperance card is here in the reverse. Is somebody trying to you know mess with your peace, destroy your peace? Why is the temperance card here in the reverse? All right, what we got here? The hanged man. Okay, so you're patiently waiting. But I feel like you've lost patience, okay? I feel like you waited on something and you've lost patience. Okay, you were waiting to see if something was going to come back together or if you want to, if you guys were, it's something here. Maybe there's a get together, a party or you hanging out with friends, but I'm getting like you waited, you waited and you're done. Why is the 10 of swords here? Okay. We got the Queen of Swords. Ooh, you cutting somebody off, Pisces. We got the Hermit card. And the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. The Chariot. Okay, I got Cancer, Capricorn, and I got Hermit. But I've been no I noticed here that you guys may have been trying to avoid doing this, okay? You guys are trying to avoid cutting. You guys are trying to avoid doing this, okay? But you felt like you've waited long enough, okay? The challenge is the Eight of Swords. Maybe you've been thinking about cutting this person off because you cutting somebody off. Look at this. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. They are done with. Maybe you felt like somebody betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, whatever, whatever. You are done, Why is the Queen of Swords here before I look into this? Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Lovers. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Gemini. I got Leo here. In the reverse. So this is, this is like sad, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune. Were you afraid of this? I got Leo here too. Could be a Leo involved. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Somebody is afraid of change. Maybe you were afraid of this change, okay? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. Maybe you're afraid to start over. Or there's someone around you, okay? This could be someone around you energy. And this could be um, your energy, a partner's energy, or someone around you. But there's like this getting over something that's heartbreaking and sorrowful and starting over and starting fresh with this Ace of Wands. Because something ended here. And it could have been a connection that you had with someone. Someone that you loved. You had love for. You know, whatever. I feel like you've cutting them off. Like, it's like time's up. Time's up. Time up. Somebody has been real wild. Somebody has been very uh, reckless here. Someone has been uh, very childlike behavior. Someone is very kind of like immature here. Why is the Knight of Swords in the reverse here? The Strength card in the reverse. Yeah. Someone planned too much. Somebody planned too much. This person, somebody is playing too much. 
You, I feel like you have waited and time is up. Time is up. I feel like with this past energy, we got the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there's something about, uh, is in the, there's something in the sense of your bag, okay? Like, I feel like some of you guys are trying to save money, okay? With the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles is in the reverse. So maybe you've been overspending, okay? Maybe you're taking a look at your finances. This is past energy. So maybe you're trying to keep your finances in check. Okay. You're trying to keep your finances in check. Okay. Some of you guys may be overspending, may, may have overdone it in the past. So it's like past energy is more so about resources, finances. Okay. Making sure that you're not overspending. But this right here. Somebody, you're cutting somebody off or you feel like this person betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. You waited for the situation to balance out, um, but you're over it. You feel like this person played too much. You're over it, okay? So we got the Six of Cups in the reverse for future energy. So this is like bad memories. This person left you with a bad taste, okay? When you hear this person's name, you're like, ugh. Don't talk about them around me. Ugh. No. Okay, why is the Six of Cups in the reverse here? The King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay. And I got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I got the Six of Swords, okay. And I also have the Seven of Pentacles. Something, you may feel like something isn't worth it. Okay, I feel like you're not putting in this work anymore. You don't want to put any work into this with this person. You don't want to do... It's something here possibly involving a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But you feel like this isn't worth it, okay? You're not putting in any more work towards this. It's just like, mm, nah, it's, I'm not going to do all of that. I'm not doing all of that. Whatever did hurt you, no longer is hurting you. The three of swords is in reverse. You're over it. You're over it. You're you are over it, okay? Why is the king of wands here? King of swords. So we got the king of swords and the queen of swords. Okay, the king of pentacles keeps wanting to reveal itself. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? The Death card. Scorpio energy. Okay, no communication. So maybe you decide not to communicate with this person. You're cutting this person off for as far as communication. Possibly sex-wise here with this King of Wands as well. I just feel like this person just left a bad taste in your mouth. Okay? Like, mm -mm. no. No, thank you. I don't want it. <laughs> I didn't give you enough time. Time's up. And I think that's what I want to call this one. Time's up. Time's up. We good. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, like that type vibe. Somebody getting cut off. I know that. You're done with somebody. You're done with somebody. You're not talking to them. You're not, you're not on speaking terms with them going into the near future. You're cutting them off as far as communication goes. Okay? So what message do you have for Pisces, please? Pisces, y'all been standing y'all ground. And I'm digging that. Okay, Pisces. My message is there for Pisces. Share your voice, okay? Come out of the cave. Persecution and express yourself. And Spirit also wants you to know, yeah, I know y'all guys, my nails are very ugly, okay? Don't be talking about me in the comment section. <laughs> All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got get grounded, okay? So, Pisces, it's time for you to get grounded, okay? Think, think logically, okay? Empaths. 
highly sensitive. It's time to connect with nature, okay? Take some time, meditate, get grounded, you know, even if you have to do some grounding, you know? Go out in nature just to get a breather and to be able to become one with, with nature, okay? But it's most definitely time for you to express yourself, okay? It's time for you to come out of whatever cave you're in um, or whatever you, you know, normally do. It's time for you to do, to do something different, okay? Do something different. All right, we got protection, all right? So for your protection, okay, call back your power. Cut the cords, soul retrieval, okay? For your own protection, it's time for you to cut this tie. It's time for you to cut it, okay? So we have no, wait, postpone, pause, or say no. If this person is coming towards you, wanting to talk and wanting to do this, no. And to protect your energy and what you have going on, and what's keeping you happy to, to in order for you to keep that that balance in your life, you're going to have to tell this person no. You're going to have to tell this person, no, nah, I'm good. It ain't nothing this way. Okay? And it's for your own protection. To protect your energy. All right? Give me one more card for Pisces. All right, look, we got break the chain, okay? You're definitely breaking away from somebody, okay? You're definitely getting, you're, you're done with something, okay? Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting your future, okay? So it's time to, it's time to cut a tie with somebody. Somebody, this, this person or a way that you think about this person or a way that you view a situation, it's over with. Like, it needs to be done. Cut that cord, cut that tie. You guys know what exactly what it is that is in your life that you need to cut off, okay? This is going to be the time to do that, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you, okay? So don't take it too personal. Don't take it all personal. It's for your growth, okay? It's for you to get to the next level, okay? So some of you guys are going through an awakening, okay? This is a big wake-up call, okay? We got energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration, okay? Some of you guys are going through an ascension. Some of you guys are going through an awakening, okay? To understand that when things no longer serve you or when a person no longer serves you or a way of viewing things no longer serves you, and when it's over with, it's done with, you have to learn how to cut that tie. Okay, and don't look back. All right, Pisces, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. All right, if this message resonated, throw me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below and book a personal reading with me, baby. If you want to donate to this channel, that information is going to be in that drop box below as well. Thank y'all. Ciao for now.